get that. And then, whoa, look at that guy. Can you, can you, can you just take care of him for me? Can you take care of that guy for me? Because... Because we got barbarians approaching and um, I just can't deal with that right now. Yeah, if you could go follow him, that would be really great. I'd really appreciate that, man. Yeah, I know it's been over 150 years, but... As it turns out, Mount Kilimanjaro Whoa. is not Wi-Fi enabled, so I had to spend two weeks in Tanzania talking to the people on my trip. <laughs> Nancy Bonds. Mount Kilimanjaro, now that is a discovery and a half. A civilization Whoa. has accomplished something historic. Worthy of being celebrated and remembered for generations to come. These accomplishments help our civilization reach a golden age and avoid a dark age. Whoa! Each of these historic moments will increase our era score. Our era score determines which age we will earn in the next game era. So we should seek out these historic moments when possible. Yes. Our knowledge of astrology has advanced considerably. Okay, I got four more turns, which should be like just over a century to learn how to mine, and then astrology. If we do astrology, we can get into uh, the religious victory, we can get into religion, and maybe a religious victory. You can tell I've got high hopes for these guys, but... Hey! Life, like history, is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get until you open it up and take a bite out of it. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what, that's what, um, that, that's what Forrest Gump's mum used to say. She didn't say the opening box thing, but my sister was a huge fan, she'd know. What was her name anyway? If anyone knows what Forrest Gump's mum's name was, please let me know in the comments. I don't think that they actually tell you her name in that movie. She was just always his mum, or his mama. I'm sure she had a name, it's not like... That's something for her. Alright, Spearman. Let's dance! Oops. When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. Find yourself in a hole, quit digging. Oh, to keep yourself in not leaving. Oh, done. I could also kick myself for not... For not winning that fight. Okay. Now on to... Astrology. I should do animal husbandry, but... What is the point without, uh... I'll get these guys.
I've got your number. I want to purchase uh, tiles. Purchase that tile. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Damn. Why didn't anyone tell me I could do that? Well, it's amazing what these boosts can do. I mean... Oh! Kilimanjaro roars and a plume of smoke and ash jets into the sky as people and animals flee in terror. Catastrophic eruption number seven. Whoa, what a bang! Oh my gosh, that's huge. Okay, that was creepy. Yeah, that would be nice. It's like that bridge thing, isn't it? really when you get right down to it it's like um all those guys with the lanterns or wait a minute, no no there's the one guy with the lantern and there's this and there's this guy who has to go like enacting new policies in 10 our government minutes. can be of great benefit the our other guy goes for 12 decree. minutes the other guy goes for 8 minutes and then there's another guy who can go over like in 1 minute and you have to make sure that you time it right. Because if the one minute person has to wait for the 12 minute person. At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. Aristotle, wise words. Yes, I'm gonna need one of those. Plus five unit combat strength when fighting barbarians. You know what? I will go for the God King right now. Bias the Just. Whoops. Yes, I confirm those policies. Our policy agenda is set. <laughs> and in five turns, we get astrology, then we can start building Stonehenge, you guys. That one's the first one, so we'll just do that. Sorry we didn't boost it, but... Uh, oh dear.
Barbarians at the gates. We have barbarians at the gates. What are we gonna do? Oops. I am Gitarja, Indonesia's queen and protector. Those who thought us weak litter the ocean floor. Really, you should ask those guys to clean up after themselves. It ain't great littering the ocean floor. Oh, you mean that they're... They're dead? Ugh. Um... Would you like to visit our nearby city? And sample our hospitality? I almost don't want to invite you if you're gonna throw people in the ocean. I knew you had it in you. Okay, I invited you. Please do not... Dump me in the water. Bye. Um. <laughs> Once again, I can kick myself for not. For not, um. You know, doing foreign trade first. Okay, is it too late now? I'll probably regret this, but, uh, instead, but... Turn 11? It was 10 before. Right, fine, I'll do craftsmanship. Then we do trade. But we are definitely doing trade. Because I... Because I need to make that sweet, sweet, go sweet, sweet gold with uh, Indonesia. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Creating districts in our cities can be much more powerful and lucrative than simple improvements like farms and mines. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. A quote from the first ever physician in Western medicine, Hippocrates. Okay. Now we can do faith. Yes. That would help. That would be beneficial, I believe. Okay. Do I keep doing Settler? Do we keep building the Settler and then go for Stonehenge? You know what? They want a Settler and they want Stonehenge. So, yeah, I think we'll do Stonehenge. Right after we do the Settler. I may have stretched my city out a bit too thin, but at the same time, it's possible. But you know, it's possible that this is okay.
No, you know what? I think I'll just focus on that one. Actually, you know what? I'll do animal husbandry first. And then I'll click all the way to writing. And that should, uh... And then, yeah, we click all the way to writing. And that should take me through to pottery. I get that pottery is going to be way later on schedule. But, uh... You know, I might surprise everyone. I'd like to formally declare friendship. I would not go so far as to call you friend until I know your true motives. We must remain as we are. Okay. What about a, uh... Delegation. Not right now. An ill tide rolls in. Best my people best not associate it with yours. Never mind. We've all only got gold right now. Eventually I'll have something to offer you. You, which should be pretty valuable. We're hoping. We have diamonds. And we will get sheep. And we'll probably get elephants. Uh, mostly we're looking forward to, um... To converting you to, uh, our, uh, religion. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but you will definitely want to enjoy it. I don't want to give anything away, but uh, I know that our religion is going to have some sort of God, and people are going to believe in it. That's pretty much all I can tell you right now. Our delegation brings Oncom Spore Cakes. The red oncom needs ginger sauce, but the black is delicious alone. Spore cakes. Your delegation is most welcome. You need to welcome these people in. Make them think it's their idea that, that, we're, that we're friends. As our civic knowledge grows, so do our methods of governance. Furthering this endeavor will allow us to appoint a governor to strengthen our power in our cities. Governors will greatly improve the loyalty of the city they are in and give it bonuses based on what promotions you choose for them to appoint new governors or promote existing ones. We need governor titles. Our main source of governor titles is to complete particular civics. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Will Rogers. Without craftsmanship, inspiration is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Johann Brahms. Change our policies. No, I pretty much like it the way it is. Okay. Now on to foreign trade. Ah, we're back to 10. Oh, right, 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 right. Writing we want. And pottery we get for free.
Oh, cool. Now you leave. Yeah, you better run. You better run, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to... I'm about to let out a settler, and he's going to... Uh, build a city. I guess. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? You keep running. Right here. So, once again, I believe we're in Africa. You avoid the smaller shores. Such deference is noted. And well regarded. <laughs> yep, that's me. I've never been one to uh, shy away from small shores. I'm a big shore kind of guy. Suppose. Does a river count as a big shore? I mean, you can cross a river really easily, so. And you don't use bridges in this game. So, uh, I'm assuming that um, a river is a pretty small shore. Maybe it's having a settler is what she liked. Uh, either way, it's pretty good. Uh. Maybe. Would that be easier to get to? Nope. I don't. No man ever Ooh. wetted clay and then left it. As if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. Plutark! Anyone know who Plutarch is? If, if you know, let me know. Because uh, I think Plutarch's a pretty good name. And um, he, I'm, I'm assuming he's Greek. Is it, no. Yep. You never see a house built. You never see a house build itself, do you? Um, look, if anybody knows how I'm supposed to, uh, if I can speed up Stonehenge by, uh, adding extra builders or anything, uh, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll just be playing the game pretty slowly. But, um... I don't know, you might be into that. You might be into slow games. Gesture. Settling a new city has expanded our civilization. With an empire larger than one city, it is important to keep an eye on the loyalty of our citizens. If loyalty decreases, the city is not as effective. If loyalty drops to zero, the city will declare its independence and become a free city. The same can happen to other civilizations, so keep an eye out for opportunities to destabilize others. And maybe even take a free city into your own empire. Loyalty is mainly affected by the number and nationality of citizens in and near the city. Having lots of your own population within nine tiles will improve your loyalty each turn. Populations belonging to other civilizations within nine tiles will decrease it. The closer cities are together, the greater the effect is. Furthermore, the effect is greatly strengthened for civilizations in golden ages and weakened by dark ages. Assigning a governor to a city and ensuring it has enough amenities are other ways to ensure the loyalty of your own cities. Historical moment. The inspirational site of Mount Kilimanjaro fills the citizens of the new city of 
Estragon with joy. Oh, I gotta change that. Oh. Focus that. Focus that. Focus that. Focus that. Not getting any gold right now, but we will. In the meantime, I uh, mark you backspace. Should be enough. That's good. City of Ezda, and we will produce. We can do that. You know, what? we will queue that up. have slingers. It's probably not the nicest thing to build like a probably not the nicest thing in the world, you know, to build um, a holy site in a place where all of our warriors are going to come from, you know. I guess it really depends on what sort of... What sort of god we want to worship right now. Every nation lives by exchanging. Every nation lives by exchanging. We don't have any trade right now. Seeing as how there's no traders, then we might as well just, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll keep God King going. Get into that, uh, get into that, uh, religious, uh, victory. We only got 2,640 years. Uh, before Christ, so um, so we definitely want to get in before that, because um, well, I don't know. Maybe we do want to found fighting is easy. Maybe we do want to found All Christianity. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. I mean, I'm sure this guy, Mark Twain, would disagree, but. Uh, Christianity has got some good points. I've I've lived under Christianity for years, or oh, date myself. We ain't gonna have too many religious uh, debates on this channel, so you know anyone who makes comments on any sort of religious stuff in a negative light, we we will block you. In fact, we'll block the comment section, and they'll know exactly who to blame. I, I could block an entire comment section and uh, for a certain amount of time. Yep. Okay. Have a religious debate in the comments, and we and we block all comments for about uh, two weeks, and then I'll make sure to let everyone know that you were the one that caused that to happen. We will name blame and shame on this channel. I don't want to and I will regret it, but uh, not as much as you'll regret having a religious debate on a channel that really just wanted to play a, uh, a really nice game to show how history works. 
And now that we've done writing, what should we go for? Yeah, I'm getting close to that. I could go for a conquest victory, but, um... And one day I will do a conquest victory, but I don't know the first thing about doing a conquest victory right now, so instead of that, We'll start with, we'll kill barbarians, and if Indonesia gets a problem, we will kill them. Basically, you know, self-defense 101. You kill the people who are killing you. And really, it's their own fault if they get killed, because they shouldn't have been killing you in the first place. That's why this wall thing is such an issue in America. Because people in Mexico ain't killing them. Ain't killing Americans. They ain't doing... They ain't doing any harm and... Still we want a wall? Look, if you're gonna block... Anyone, block a country that is... You know, angry at you at least. <laughs> Don't make a country angry and then block them away. Hmm. Divine Spark. Hmm. Well, that ain't gonna work. Hmm. That could be good. That will pay off pretty quickly. Craftsman. Hmm. You know what? I think the payoffs of this pretty good. Although, not sure. You know what? I think that this would actually be a really good time to leave B 
this game and leave it up to you guys. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get uh, uh, a nibble on this, but uh, uh, if, if anyone wants, has a uh, has a particular pantheon that they uh, want to see, you guys can let me know. Otherwise, I'll uh, pick one. Otherwise, I'll pick one later on. Um, as, um, uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, I'll, um, thanks for watching, I'll leave it up to you, uh, comments will be open, votes will be open, uh, it, the options are open, and, uh, and you guys can tell me what god you want to see. Uh, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the tubes. Bye.